guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're playing with some new makeup, like the Dose of Colors Daisy and Donald Duck palette, which is so cute. Look at this packaging, it's adorable. There's also a lip mousse and lip gloss that came with it. I have the e.l.f. putty blush, which is interesting. And then the Jaclyn Cosmetics Translucent Setting Powder. I finally got my hands on that. As well as, I'm wearing false eyelashes and I haven't done that in a couple months. So who is she? I don't know. Anyways, if you're new here, hit the subscribe button down below, hit the bell for notifications of new videos. And if you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Also, I did do a get to know me chatty, get ready me with me today, uh, just to kind of like introduce myself. Cause I don't think I've ever done that before. Um, but anyways, if you want to see how I got this look, and get to know me a little bit more, just keep watching. Okay, you guys, so I've primed my eyes already, and today we're using the Dose of Colors Donald and Daisy. This is so cute. It has six eyeshadows, and then this one is a bronzer, which the bronzer looks like it'll work for me, but I don't know that it'll work for all skin tones. I feel like this should have been like, a blush, a really pretty like pinky peachy blush, but that's just my opinion. Okay, so I do wanna swatch the shimmers. So there's Fab, which is really pretty gold. This one is Attitude, which has the purple. And then this one is Iconic, ooh. Those three are really pretty. Um, Really pretty the way they swatched. Don't mind the time if you saw my watch. Uh, I've been doing a lot of stuff around the house trying to get it situated. I had to pack some boxes in my Jeep for some friends um, that are moving as well. So I did a lot of that this morning, but now I'm getting ready because we're doing game night at a friend's house. So I figured we would play with some new makeup and I'm gonna dip into this one XOXO it's this like light pinky shade. And I'm just gonna use my Sigma E25 blending. Um, don't mind, I need to clean my brushes. I just wipe them off with uh, either my color switch or sometimes on my pajama pants. Um, but whatever. Okay, so I'm just gonna put that in the crease. So one thing I've noticed from reading my comments, like there's, I don't want it, this to be like a Q and A video, but there's, I don't think I've ever like really introduced myself in a video or like talked about who I am. Yeah, I talk about some things that have happened or is going on in my life, but I've never really like, introduced myself. Now I'm gonna go into this brownish shade called Mood. I'm gonna put that in the outer V and up into the crease. These are really pretty. Um, so I assume if you've seen my YouTube name, um, you know that my name is Ashley. I go by Ashley Lorraine on YouTube. Lorraine is actually my middle name, which was my great Great, no, just great. Great grandmother's name. Uh, we called her Grandma Lori, but her actual legal name was Lorraine. And she passed away when I was really little um, of leukemia, which I didn't understand what that was when it happened. But I feel very proud to have her name. Um, and then I have an aunt who is also Lori, but not Lorraine. Um, and I have a picture of her, a really old picture of her. Um, it's not in black and white, it's in sepia, which is how they did a lot of their photos back then. So it's more of the like browns and tan colors. And I keep that one on my entertainment center in the living room. But she's just so beautiful. And I get told 
um, by my grandmother that I look a lot like her. That I have a lot of her features, which is a very good compliment. I was very close to her when I was little. Um, I have a lot of really good childhood memories, but I was, I swear, I think I cried for, when I found out she passed, I was really little. I want to, not really, really little. I want to say I was like five or six. And I was just in tears all day. Um, but I would, I didn't know she was sick. I didn't really understand what was going on, but I just know that she was always home. When I look at pictures now, I can realize that she was really frail. Um, but we would sit by her window and she had a hummingbird feeder and we would sit and watch the hummingbirds come and flap their wings so rapidly. Um, but I figured when I made my YouTube channel that I would use my middle name because I was really close to her when I was little. I think about her often, um, but I didn't really understand what was going on when I was little. I feel <laughs> like that light pink is really pretty. It's still like there, but not as pink. I might go and put that back in when we're done. Um, but that is how I got my YouTube name was Ashley Lorraine. Cause originally it was just Ashley Chan and Chan is my married name. That's a whole adventure on its own. Um, <laughs> the beginning of all this craziness when the world shut down, um, I had just finalized my divorce and I <laughs> contacted the social security administration. I'm going to go into classic real quick. Um, I sent the paperwork in to get my name legally changed back to my maiden name, which that's going to stay between me. <laughs> um, and everything shut down. Like the next week after I sent my stuff in, the entire world shut down. Um, other countries had already been shut down, but that's really when like we as a country said, all right, we're shutting our doors. We're not doing anything. Federal organizations shut down and whatnot. Um, so I have, I've even gone in to the social security administration a couple months ago and submitted paperwork, but I still have not legally gotten my name changed back. Um, I could take it as a sign as I'm meant to just keep my married name, but I really would rather go back. I like my maiden name. I like my family's namesake. So a little bit more about me. Um, my family is Polish, Dutch, and German, and a smattering of other things. Um, I've slowly learned more about like my family, like where they've come from. I've done the DNA test through ancestry.com and I find it really interesting. Like I love history. So I find it interesting to like learn about my ancestors, where we came from, when we first came over, like when the family first stepped foot on American soil, which I found records. <laughs> I want to say going back 130 years, like their first, like their names first showing up on ship registries coming through Ellis Island. Um, not necessarily Ellis Island either, because some families came through there, but there's other areas that, like predominantly, you're supposed to come through Ellis Island. But there's registries that I found, and we didn't. I don't think we came through there. But I do enjoy like learning about my family's background, where we're from, where the family like migrated from. So that I find very interesting. And I have done a little bit of research, um, including finding like ship manifests. Um, I found like census records um, showing like where the family grew up and everything, which is really cool. But yeah, so that's a little bit about me. Um, also, there was a comment about 
<laughs> you look like you're from my generation. I am 37, no, 36 years old. I'll be 37 this year. <laughs> you know how like most people are just like, we'll round up and usually you don't do that with age. I, I'm a month away, like actually, we're like two and a half weeks, three weeks from my birthday. I'm an August baby. Um, so <laughs> I've just been kind of like rounding up so I'm ready for it and I'll be 37 this year. <sighs> Anyways, so let's see. I was thinking I would use this shade Iconic because it's that shifting. And then I was wondering like maybe I could use Attitude to like lighten it up a little bit. So I'm gonna use Iconic on my middle finger. Um, but yeah, so I am in my 30s. I have been in the military for 17 years. Um, I can retire in three. But I just, I noticed that there were comments on my videos and I figured I would kind of introduce myself, give you guys a little bit more information about me without going too in depth. I mean, if you guys have questions, if you wanna know anything and you wanna do a Q and A video, put it down below, um, put the question mark. Is there a question mark emoji? Let's see. I don't even know all the like, emojis that are out there. Yeah, use the hand raising question emoji in the comments and we'll do a Q&A video and then I'll ask on my Instagram, which that means you gotta go follow me on Instagram, but I'll ask it in my stories if there's any questions you have that you want me to answer. Um, Cause I'll answer them. All right, now I'm gonna go into the shade Attitude. Which, oh, so pretty. I don't know how this is gonna look, but I wanna play with makeup today, so. Ooh, that's really pretty. So I went and put Attitude on and then I put Iconic over it, just kind of like patting it back and forth. So it goes from the purple to the burgundy with the bluish teal shift. Like, you guys, that is so pretty. I don't know that it goes with my shirts, but anyways. So besides who I am, so I am 36 years old, originally from Michigan, uh, Polish, Dutch, and German predominantly. But yeah, so that's who I am in a nutshell. Let me go do this eye and then I'll come back and we'll Talk a little bit more. Okay, you guys, I'm back. <laughs> I also did my foundation and concealer because they're not new. Um, I did not, however, set my face because I remember this time I have a cream blush from e.l.f. And then I also have the new setting powder from Jaclyn Cosmetics, which I want to try so bad. It's just in the shade translucent. So I'm going to go ahead, <laughs> try this out because I have seen some amazing reviews on this and it's freaking affordable. So, is this my vibe today? So usually I'll put like my contour bronzer, then my blush, but <laughs> because I have a cream blush, I'm gonna do that first and then I will go in with contour and bronzer after. But let's try this out. All right, so. I'm not sure if I want to just like go in with my finger and pat it on and then, ooh, it's subtle. And it's not like super like, I don't know, it's like a gel-like consistency, but it's not like too crazy. I wonder, I don't feel like that like, we're just gonna go straight in. Ooh, yeah, that, 
but I don't want to go too crazy because what are you doing here? Um, I don't want it to mess up my makeup underneath. It doesn't look like it is, but I mean, if you look at this side, I didn't do an extra thick layer of foundation. I just kind of, I was okay with whatever like my skin looked like and that be that. Okay, that's pretty. It's very corally. <laughs> So besides like about me, <laughs> I know I've been giving you guys some updates on like the house and getting situated. There's one that I was just like so annoyed with that I didn't want to talk about it because I was just like, if I talk about it, I'm going to jinx it. So I had in my last house, I had a queen size bed because when I was married, we had my bed plus my exes and we had a guest room. But I decided this time that I wanted to get a king size bed because I have the room in my bedroom this time to have a king size bed. So I decided that my original bed was just gonna become the guest room. So I ordered one. I ordered first off of Wayfair and I really wanted one of those like upholstered headboards um, with like the nail head grommet effect on it. It's really pretty. And that's just kind of like what I wanted to do this time because a lot of my furniture that I have is hardwood. And I was like, mm, I don't want to do like dark hardwood through my entire house because the floors downstairs are dark hardwood floors. And then upstairs I have light. So I kind of wanted to like switch up the vibe of my room. And the bed that I found was super cute. I had originally got it in, it in, I think like a slate gray or a light gray. I can't remember. Um, I was super excited. I had ordered it, it was on its way. And then the day that it said it was gonna be delivered. All right, I'm gonna go into the translucent setting powder. Let me fix my creasy under eyes. Um, the day it was supposed to be delivered, I looked on Wayfair and it canceled my order. I'm like, what are you talking about? There was no explanation, just canceled. I'm like, all right, let me call Wayfair. powder is kind of nice. So I call Wayfair and they're like, oh, the manufacturer couldn't get it in stock. And I was like, okay, that's cool. Um, it would have been nice to have gotten an email. And they're like, she's like, let me look at the records. Cause I guess anything that they do on your account, they usually make annotate notes. And she's like, oh, it shows that there was an email saying yesterday morning. And I was like, that's weird. I didn't get an email. So She's like, well, it, it, they said that they sent an email and it, it should have gone out. And I'm like, all right, cool. So I was like, all right, let me look for the same type. And Wayfair didn't have anything else that I liked. Um, so I went over to Overstock and I was looking at their beds and everything and um, I found one that I liked, also upholstered, also gray with the nail head grommets and everything. So I placed the order and I waited for it to arrive. And then the day it was supposed to arrive, canceled. So I called Overstock and I'm like, Hey, so I'm just wondering what happened. Was it manufacturer? Was it the company? And I mean, there wasn't, they did send me an email. Um, so I had some type of explanation of what had happened. My nose is running. It, it hasn't been running in like two weeks. 
Um, so far, I like this. We will see, it'll progress, oils will come out. But so far, my under eye doesn't look super crazy. I say that, but I have crazy under eyes anyways. And then my like lines up here, that's always like my favorite indicator. <laughs> but anyways, um, so I call them and, cause what's funny is even though I got an email from them saying that the order had been canceled, they also charged my card again. And I'm like, cause the email said that they would give me a refund. And then I would also get a 10% coupon off for the inconvenience. And I was like, all right, cool. Well, then there was another charge on my card. And I was like, oh wait, how are you gonna charge me again when you're supposed to refund it? And I was just kinda like, this is too much, too much. Okay, so I think for the under eye, I'm gonna go into XOXO, um, do the entire length and then go into mood right here and then add in classic just in the outer V to make it cohesive. I'm also gonna touch up the crease to add in a little more of that pink. So I figured we would talk that through before <laughs> so I can continue to have the conversation. So at that point I was kind of like, what do I do? Cause Wayfair didn't have anything that I wanted. Plus the whole not getting an email update, them canceling the, the order and everything without telling me, just kind of left a bad taste in my mouth. I've ordered other things from Wayfair and they came in quickly, but I was really waiting for this bed. So I was kind of annoyed. So I looked at Overstock and I just didn't find anything else that I liked. So I was like, let me look to see where else has beds. Cause I didn't want to go into a big furniture store and I'd already gone into Ashley and ordered a couple things. I was like, ah, oh, big furniture stores are so expensive. So I looked at Amazon. I did not realize that Amazon has like big furniture, um, like beds and mattresses. I knew they had mattresses, like mattresses in a box, but I didn't know that they had like beds, like king size beds. Um, and I was honestly pretty skeptical about buying a bed off of Amazon. Cause I have ordered some things and some of them have been really sketchy, like clothing. Um, something that they'll charge you like 60 bucks for and it looks like it should have been 10. And I'm like, uh, we're gonna cross our fingers and hope that this works. I did find a bed that I liked on Amazon and I read all the reviews. I read all the good reviews. I read all the bad reviews. I looked at the dates at which they were posted. I looked at the pictures. Like I did my research and now I'm going into mood. Um, but I was, I was nervous. Cause I was just like, you know, I can get all kinds of things on Amazon and I will, I will order all kinds of things that I don't even need, but they pop up and I'm like, Ooh, that, that looks cool. And I'm like, why did I order this? But I got it. Um, so I was kind of nervous and I'm like, if this doesn't work, how do I ship an entire king size bed back to Amazon? I can't walk into the UPS store and be like, hey, can you uh, send my king size bed back? Like, yeah. So I was nervous to say the least, but the reviews like, kind of put me at ease. So I ordered my bed and it said it would arrive in three days. And here I am going, please don't cancel my order. Please don't cancel my order. Third time is the charm and it showed up. Um, the bed is super cute. It's this time I didn't go with gray. I went with like a cream color because I wanted lighter tones in my room this time, especially because my room has a lot of like natural sunlight, which I love even like it doesn't get dark here until like 8.30 <laughs> at night, but it is so bright in my room throughout the day that I just wanted a light color that would also help like reflect the light and everything. So it arrived 
And I got the alert on my ring doorbell that said it was here and I'm like, that box does not look like it fits a king size bed. Cause I also got a text message saying like, they'll be, when they're on their way, they'll text you because they might need help getting the box out of the delivery van. And I'm like, all right, cool. I can help them lift it. I never did. Instead, I got a alert from my ring doorbell saying there was movement at the front door. <laughs> and there he is just do 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 bring this box that looks like a really long surfboard. I'm like, that doesn't look like a bed. I will tell you, this is the coolest like hacking that they've like that I have ever seen. So I opened the box and sure enough, it's my bed. It's the upholstered uh, headboard. When you flip it over on the back, there's a zipper and all the other parts, like the slats, the sideboards, the end piece, they're all inside the headboard, all nested together, nice and neat. And I'm like, if I ever move, this is the easiest transport or move of a like bed. It was the coolest thing. So. Took everything out, did a quick inventory, put it upstairs, kind of like laid it out. How, why is this like, do you guys see that? Like, I don't have that issue over here. This is my temperamental eye. Like it never wants to do what I want it to do. Um, come on, I'm gonna get another brush. Um, so, did an inventory, made sure I had all the parts. What is going on? <sighs> so finicky. Um, but I got it put together and it is so cute. I'll pop a picture like right here so you guys can see it. Um, it is so cute and Sochu has just been chilling on it like it's her bed. I swear she thinks she owns everything in this house. Um, but she, <laughs> she now has a spot in the room to like hide under, uh, when she doesn't want to be found, which I'm not so sure I'm happy about. That looks better. But third time's a charm. Never thought that I would buy a bed from Amazon and be happy with it, but it turned out it worked out well. The bed is cute. It's sturdy, like, I, so comfy. So if you're ever looking for a bed and you're not sure about where to buy a bed from, I wanna say it was like less than 250. It was, it was not expensive, but it looks really cute. Um, I highly recommend Amazon. Cause Wayfair and Overstock just couldn't like, they could not fulfill the order. So I've ordered other stuff from Wayfair, like candle holders or my plates, my dishes are from Wayfair. Those are super cute. Um, maybe once I get everything decorated, we'll do like a walkthrough or whatever, or like my house necessities, whatever. If you guys wanna see that, um, just comment down below that you want a completed house tour. But yeah, so I did get my dishes from there. They arrived pretty quickly, had no broken dishes, which was great. And then my stepmom, we were talking about these candle holders that I liked on there, but I was just like, can't justify buying them yet. I kind of need to see how my decor goes in the house. And she's like, order them. And then she sent me the money to cover them so that they would be my housewarming gift, which I didn't need her to do that, but I appreciate it because it was a very thoughtful gift. And every time I light my candles, I'll think of her and my dad. But you guys, once I get this place put together, if you want to see it, I'll show it to you. All right, you guys. So that's where we are right now. I kind of want to add this gold in a little bit. It's really pretty. This shade right here, Fab. I think I want to put it like 
right here up and over. But see, I always do like an icy inner corner highlight. And I'm like, do I use this as the inner corner highlight and then just actually do a lighter color for the brow bone? See, now it's looking like a glitter topper. Mm, I'm gonna put it on the other eye too, but I feel like it would apply better with the finger and like all over the eye. Anyways, all right, so let's do the rest of this. Um, for contour, nothing new. I'm just gonna use my Kevin Aquan. Pop that in the cheeks so we can use the bronzer in this palette. And I'm not trying to use a lot because I've already done my blush, so I'm not trying to like mute it out in any way. Um, and I don't think I'm gonna put any blush on top. Uh, maybe I will. That kimchi blush is super cute. And I have been loving that one. So we'll go and put a little bit of this over this after I use the bronzer. So we're gonna go into oops, da oopsie daisy. <laughs> um, I like the little stamp in it. It's so cute with Daisy and Donald kissing. Um, it's very pigmented. It's also very red. Very warm bronzer. It says it's a bronzer. I'm, I'm like, maybe it was a blush. Maybe I read that wrong. Nope, it says bronzer. It is very warm toned. Should have gone in with a lighter hand. And down the chin to make it all cohesive because my chest is a little tan, but my neck never is. Ah. I really hope my lip doesn't start bleeding because I picked that. And it is. It doesn't matter how much water I've been drinking, my lips are still parched. Okay, now for a little bit more blush. I don't know that I need it, but we're gonna go into the kimchi. This one is in Grace. Just to make it a little more seamless. I have some very peachy cheeks. And then no new highlighter, but I'm gonna use the NYX Born to Glow in Platinum Status and Diamond Chains. So I'm gonna use this as my inner corner highlight. Where did that brush go? See, that's what I wanted. That was very just seamless. Um, brow bone. And then the 
cheeks. So I'm gonna go into both of them for the cheeks. Very blind. All right, now I need to go do my eyebrows off camera. I need to do my waterline liner. I do have this from Moxie Lash. Why are you still zoomed in so close? Let's go back a little bit. So this is from Moxie Lash. These were in my BoxyCharm last month that I didn't unbox on camera. So there is the liquid liner, which I'm not sure how I feel about this because it's just like, it looks messy. Let's just be honest. It looks goopy and I might have to like, can I, okay, I can kind of like, I don't know. It's still, we'll try. If not, I have, I think I have velour. Um, yeah, I have a little, Oh no, this isn't magnetic. But Moxie Lash is magnetic lashes. And I haven't done lashes in a while. So we're gonna try out Moxie Lash. And this is the style right here in Sassy Lash, which those are cool. So I figured I would try out some magnetic lashes because I've never done that before. And then for mascara, I just have this little tube of the Velvet Noir from Marc Jacobs. I got this in like a that cherry collection, like the sample trial sizes that they put out, it was like a little purse. And then it had a bronzer, mascara, and a body glow. So I'm gonna try this one out. I had a Marc Jacobs that I used a couple videos ago. So I'm gonna go do that and I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, you guys, I have you zoomed back in and that's only because I'm about to put these eyelashes on. Let me tell you right now though, this is so messy. It like literally, <laughs> it's all over my hands right now. Um, it just, it's like weird trying to apply it because it's really thick. Um, I kind of got my little wing thing, <laughs> whatever. I just hope that these work because then it won't matter what my eyeliner looks like because they're gonna be covered by lashes. So I did go ahead and put some mascara on prior. I like to put it on the lashes first, then put my falsies on, then blend them together with my fingers. I don't like putting mascara on my false eyelashes. It's annoying to try and clean them. So that's how I do it. So I already did this, I did it my eyeliner. This liner, it says that it needs to sit for three minutes before you apply these. So I'm excited to try them. They're cute. So, oh. So you know how when you get lashes, they're usually like gooped into the container? It, it has magnets in here to make it easy to just, oh wow, yeah, it just like literally reattached itself. Um, so let's see, I feel like, let me see. Yeah, this is, <laughs> this, ah, you guys, here it goes. Let's see. Oh yeah, it just literally like grabbed on. You guys, these are so, if I can just get them closer to my line. literally yanked them off to put them back on um so many times now you guys i'm i will forever do lashes if this is how easy they are i just need a better eyeliner but okay that was so much better They're, they're not dramatic at all. 
Uh, they're very dramatic, but I feel like if you got sick of them, if you got like annoyed with them and you're like, mm, not feeling it, you can just be like, eh, I'm done. And it doesn't mess up your eyeliner. I hate that with the adhesive ones. Like I feel like when I pull them off, there's like an entire area missing that used to have eyeliner. And then it doesn't anymore. You guys, oh my gosh, this is so easy. So easy. They're not heavy. I'm gonna do the other eye and then we'll blend them. You guys. And I'm pretty sure that Moxie Lash has a bunch of different styles, but um, it's a vibe. With a lash, without a lash. <laughs> you guys. Um, yeah, uh, all right. Going glam for, glam for game night. Oh. It literally just went to my eye. I feel like oh, I need to pull it over somehow. I'm blocking it, I'm sorry guys. I feel like that's too far. I think the hardest part is just figuring out like where it needs to go to match the other <laughs> eyelash. Yeah, it needs to come over a little bit. There, I think that was. You guys, this is a vibe. And to marry them, marry them, to merge them together, I just kind of like press and blend. And then I feel like some of the mascara is coming off. You guys, I think I need to get on Moxie Lash and buy some more lashes and find a different eyeliner because like, that one was annoying. All right, anyways, dude, these are so easy. I'm gonna take these in my purse so I can just like, if I decide that I wanna take that, cause I don't wanna lose these. I can just put them back in here, put them in my purse and we could be good. All right, now for lips, cause I think that's the last thing that I have to do. Um, there were two, there's a lip mousse and a lip gloss in the collection from Dose of Colors. So the lip mousse is Donald Duck and this one is Daisy Duck, just a really pretty pinky glitter, pinky lip gloss with like pink to purplish blue glitter. All right, I'm not lining my lips because that's not, it's a lip mousse. And I hope it works well because my lips have been dry. I love Dose of Colors, like their lip stuff smells so good. All right. I don't know if this is a vibe. I love Dose of Colors lipsticks, like liquid lips and whatnot. This feels great. I just don't know if it's the color.
it feels so good. Like I keep applying it. Like I haven't dunked this back into the tube either. And it's just building so beautifully. The color's growing on me. It's not my favorite like nude shade. I also think once it dries down, it might change the tone. Who knows? All right, let's see. It smells like vanilla buttercream. Oh, it didn't transfer. That's good because my eyeliner did everywhere. All right, anyways, I'm a little bar hurt that it's all over my hands right now. All right. I don't know that I like it better with the gloss or matte. Okay, you guys, that is it for this look. Um, I'm really feeling these eyelashes. I have not worn false eyelashes in quite some time, but they were, once the eyeliner like got figured out and everything, they were super easy to apply. I mean, you guys saw that I like took them on and off a couple different times. Besides it getting like on my hands or whatever, that's what soap is for. I'll go and <laughs> use a makeup wipe or whatever to like, get it off um anyways go check them out it was super easy maybe they have a different like eyeliner on their site i'll check but i'm probably gonna go pick up some more of these because granted i can't wear false eyelashes to work false long eyelashes but like i wouldn't anyways on the weekends though these are a lot of fun like i don't know i'm feeling my eye look today i always like playing with eye makeup, like eyeshadows and whatnot, because you can really do a lot with it. This eyeshadow palette though, you guys, this, I'm not so sure about the bronzer. I don't think it was necessary, but these eyeshadows, beautiful. Um, the gold, I think it's more of like a topper, which is fine, but these other shades, I used all of them except for the gold. I tried, I tried. But you guys, I really like these, especially this one with the shift and then this on top, just, I like how it looks. I like how it turned out. Um, <laughs> that's the eyeshadow palette. That's, that's what I should have just, if only. Um, the other thing that came in the box, there were also the stickers, which are super cute. I don't know that I'm gonna get use out of these. Maybe I'll just give them to someone that has a kid. And then there is an information card. There were eyelashes that came with it. I don't know that Dose of Colors has done false eyelashes before. And then there was a lip liner. And I was like, it's a lip mousse. I don't really need a lip liner. But then I guess if I was just gonna do gloss, the lip liner would have been fine. Whatever. So this was the collection. I think it's still available on Dose of Colors. I don't know if it's gonna be sold at Ulta, it doesn't say. It is a special edition. I know I have the Mickey and Minnie. I never did videos with them, but I have the palettes and they're super cute. So I'm a huge Disney person. Now, the other things that I used that were new, the e.l.f. blush, I really liked it. Um, pretty much just put it on as like a base color and then I put the kimchi on top of it, but I think it turned out really pretty. The powder from Jaclyn Cosmetics. This is, one, the packaging is super cute. Like, I like this. And then it's just translucent. And then there's a mirror. I like how my makeup looks. Um, my, I just gotta get over the fact that I have creasy, like, creases under my eyes. It's just fine, it's fine, I'll be okay. Um, but otherwise, I think the rest of my makeup looks good. Um, it doesn't look like it's settled in. I mean, I get animated, I get the 
forehead creases, you, you know, whatever. It's what happens when you're an animated, enthusiastic person, whatever. Anyways, you guys, that is it for this look and this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button down below, hit the bell for notifications of new videos. And if you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And until next time, you guys, bye. And I'll see you in the next one.